Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a winged eyeliner and how to apply false lashes tutorial. They're both kind of a quick thing, so I figured I would just combine them and kind of do a two-in-one video. I hope you guys enjoy. I haven't done a winged eyeliner uh, tutorial in over a year, and I don't think I've ever shown you guys how I apply false lashes. It's kind of standard, but I know a lot of people have been requesting that. So yeah, my um, winged eyeliner strategy has definitely changed and definitely gone on to bigger and better things and learn new tricks. And um, I'm glad to be able to do this for you guys today. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave it below. And yeah, if you guys want to see how to get this winged eyeliner and how I apply my false lashes, then just keep watching. Thanks guys. Okay guys, so if you're watching this, I'm assuming that you want to see my eyeliner routine. I have definitely switched it up. Um, I think the last time I did it was over a year ago. I'm not sure if I was using this, but I love the e.l.f. Um, cream eyeliner. It's very similar to the MAC eyeliner but it's cheaper and that's why I get it so I love it when I first tried it out I didn't like it and I don't know why I felt like it was too um, too dry so I think I got like a contaminated container because it is dry but it's like a good dry I don't know I like my gel liners to be a little dry because I've had really like loose ones and it's super messy and hard to work with so yeah, and then I usually use whatever liner brush I have that I can find. I have one from Sephora, and this is from Ulta. It's a Japanesque 340 brush. It's just an angled liner brush. So basically, when I used to do winged eyeliner, I used to use a um, eyeliner pen and just like do a straight line, and it was jagged and awful. Leave me a comment below if you remember those days when I first started making YouTube videos, and literally my eyeliner was not cute. Like, my liner was not on fleek, let's be honest. So, um, and then I graduated to different wings. Like, I did wings that went straight up and they were angled, and I hated that. Looking back at the time, I thought it was so cool. Um, and now I kind of just do this kind of wing. Sometimes I'll do it more dramatic. I guess today this is kind of subtle, but that's because I have a lot of drama going on in the bottom lash. So, I didn't want to make like these huge wings because there's just a lot of drama in this look today. So, Anyway, um, yeah, what I like to do is just dip into the pot, very little product, okay? And when I've dipped it in and I see that I have product on there, as you can see all over my mom's face over here, I just like to go and see there's not much product, so I'm going to go back in a little bit more. This is a good way to see, now I can see I got some chunks on there, so again, I'm just going to kind of see what product I'm working with. Kind of go back and forth. And I'm telling you, doing this little thing makes it so much easier to work with. So, what I like to do is just start by drawing a line, well, lining my upper lash line, I guess. It does not have to be super crazy, we are going to fix it, but... You know, if it's jagged, no worries. Okay, dip back into the thing, the pot, and then you're gonna do the same thing again. Okay, now I like to flip my brush when I do this because I feel like it makes the wing so much more sharper. So instead of using it this way like I used to, I just flip it backwards and then just Flick it, lightly. Okay, and you guys can see a very faint line. So again, dipping back into the pot, going back and forth on the hand. I'm gonna draw a triangle and bring it down. So. Tilting your head upwards if you need to. Okay, I need some more product because it's a little dry. That's good. Thank you. 
okay and I'm just going to let me see thicken this up a bit Okay, now I'm going to go towards my inner corner and it's going to get thinner towards my inner corner and eventually it's just going to disappear. Just want to make sure all the edges are really clean. And as you can see, it's a little like messed up um, on the edge of the wing. No worries. What I like to do, this is like a simple trick because you know, you are going to mess up here and there. I'm just going to take a small brush and take some of my concealer and then just take it on the edge like that. And if you need more product, you just go in and get more. So now, see how easy that is just to make it more of like a precise. I'm going to take you guys through my lashes, how I apply false lashes. Alright, so before I even put lashes on, I take mascara and just coat it because it actually makes putting lashes on that much easier. If I was taking lashes out of the package, I would take a lash, put it to my lash, see if it sizes up. Most of the time they don't, so I take a pair of scissors and cut like a half an inch of the lash off, if that, maybe even less, just like a little chunk. And then it will fit my lash line because lashes are not, you know, going to customize to your lash. Everybody's, like, shape is different. So, um, yeah, that's what I would do. Um, and like I said, nine times out of ten, I end up cutting my lashes. So, there's nothing better than reusing lashes because uh, there's nothing better. They fit so nicely. So, if I've worn these before, which I have, these are the Velour Mink Lashes. And these are in Wispy Me Away. I love these. Um, I just pull the glue off with a pair of tweezers because you don't want that like chunkiness. And I'm just gonna use my Ardell Lash Grip Lash Adhesive. And this is white, which is not my favorite. I'd rather use the dark, but I don't have any more left. So I just apply a really thin layer. If you apply too much, as you can see, very thin. If you apply too much lash glue, it, it becomes such a sloppy mess. It's literally the worst thing in the world and it takes forever to dry and it's just honestly not a good time and I've learned the hard way that, um, you know, you, a little goes a long way. That goes with like any makeup thing, honestly. The thing that messes you up the most is you like overcompensate and you just put too much of a product on and it's just, it doesn't work like that. You know, like you start with little and you can always build up. The way I learned it in makeup school was like you can always build on something but it's so hard to take away. So if you add so much black eyeshadow, it's hard to blend that out. Whereas if you just start by little, start by little and keep building, you'll get your desired color and it won't be ruined because you can't take color away unless you just start your makeup over and who wants to do that. So yeah, everything has to be in like increments with makeup. All right, so this is pretty much semi-dry, so it's a good time to stick it on. 
Okay, take my tweezers. Make it work. Tweezers are your friend. To say the least. Okay. And you don't want to blink too much when they're drying. So that can screw you up too. Make sure that everything is really tight. And there's no chance of my lash falling. And then I like to lift them up. Cause I don't like them like sitting heavy. I'm gonna take a little bit of glue on my fingernail because it looks like the inner corner is having a hard time. Just take a little bit. There we go. Now I feel like it's sitting good. So yeah, I just like to pull them off. I don't like them laying low. And I'm just gonna wait for that to dry. So wait for that to dry and then I'm gonna contour my face and do my lips and I'll come right back and show you guys how I finish it off. Okay, the last thing that I'm gonna do, I told you guys I'd be back, is, oh, where's my brush? I'm gonna take my angled liner brush again and take my gel liner and just kind of cover up the spines of the lashes. This is kind of important. You don't want your lashes showing. Then you can just push up on your lashes. And then what I like to do is apply a coat of mascara right under, kind of just to blend my real lashes in with the fake. And I go too crazy with it, just a little bit. And that's it. That is my winged eyeliner and lash routine.